Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Abel and welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to do a video like this for a while and then I stumbled onto a style that I haven't tried before and that's why I did this illustration of a zebra with watercolors. And as you can see, it's not a regular zebra. Well, because it's blue. And today I'm going to show you how it's done. First, we will see the supplies we need to do this and then let's do it. We will need paper, container with water, Pencil and eraser, scotch tape, brush, and watercolor. Remember that the complete list of supplies is in the description box. I'm going to start by drawing with a pencil the outline of a zebra. These lines will later be the base to paint with the watercolor. And here I am using an image that I found online. Once I'm finished and that I'm satisfied with the sketch, I will erase the excess of pencil. With a little bit of scotch tape, I'm going to set the paper on the surface that I will work. And taking the color directly from the peel, I'm going to start by color the sketch. And as you can see, I am using blue instead of black, in order to give this illustration a more artistic touch. And I will do this fading the color from the darker base up to the top which will be lighter. As a matter of fact, I will let you in the description box a video of mine about painting watercolors. And if you want to see the complete speed painting of this illustration, you can do that clicking on the link that's over here. And returning to the painting colors, that's actually very simple. As the only thing I do is intensify the color where I want the darker parts to be and use more water where I intend to be lighter. Lastly, all I have to do is let it dry. You know what, I had many hesitations about doing this watercolor more realistic because I didn't know if I wanted to do it black and white, just like a regular zebra. But at the end I decided to do this more fantastic. Well, much more fantastic since it's blue. So let me know in the comment section down below what do you think and if you like it. And if you're not subscribed and you would like to be, hit the subscription button. Or you can do that on the image that's over here. And turn on the notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when there's a new video around. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments and for sharing this content and I recommend you to see these videos that you may like. Follow me on my social media that's on the screen and in the description box and I'm off to see you next time. Bye bye!